What is up guys? AV17 here, back at it again on the brand new video. And today we're gonna to be playing a game that I love a lot called Let It Die. And um yeah. It I probably haven't played this in like three years. And this is the first uh, um episode of Soul Game uh Sundays or Soul Game Sunday. Yeah, this game is so cool. But yeah, it's a, it's a soul-like and roguelike merged. But yeah, let it die right there for you guys. This is the beginning of it. Okay, so for whatever reason, it, it blocked... It blocked the the gameplay, I don't know why. I don't know why, but yeah, I blocked the gameplay before. Oh my god, dude, I'm so excited to play this. It was such a difficult game when I played it. Like, it was so hard. Also, by the way, I'm using my my taped up mic from before. Oh my god, wait, what? Oh, we're just starting. We're just starting where we where I left off. Oh my god, I haven't played in so long. I don't remember how to play. Oh yeah, you have your stamina. This game is actually really difficult and it and it it gets even it gets more harder the more you do stuff in it. I was hoping for like like restarting the game, but apparently not. It's not doing that for me. Oh the fighter freezer, that's where you keep some of your extra guys. Hey, this game is so cool. Welcome back. Come back anytime. Yeah, this game's free to play. You can play this, like, on PS4 for free. Oh, those are, I think, death metals, right? So if you don't instantly revive your dead character, then they'll, rev they'll be, rev like, revived as, like, a hater. And they're basically, like, mindless zombies that kill you in the levels. So you're, liter so you're literally being killed by... Like yourself when you died, um, or other players. Isn't that awesome? Also, look how weird and meta this is. Look, it's like an arcade. We're like playing a game in a game. Look at that. That's Uncle Death right in front of me. He's like a skater. Don't give up, senpai. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why he calls us senpai. I don't know why he calls you that. And then, um, oh my god, the music is so nostalgic. And this is, this guy just plays on the arcade all the time. Yeah, sure, I can chat. I just let this guy win the first two rounds. Here, I got a tip for you. Stuff about reloading, use R2 while holding X. Throw weapons on your right hand and for ones on your left, use L2 while holding. For double-handed weapons, use either. Yeah, he's just usually playing a bunch. <laughs> this game was made in like 2016 by the way so it's it's fairly old look this is the beginning tower of barbs that's what it's called the tape and then it says mother barbs thank you for listening to this voice guidance system let us embark on a journey of discovery about the many wonders of the tower of barbs the Tower of Barb is located on the tiny 3.7 square mile island of South Tokyo. Legend has it that this island was formed during the Earth Rage tectonic disturbance of 2026. 
The tower stands at 1,686 feet, the equivalent of a 30-story building with super high ceilings. Many say that the tower is actually growing with each passing year. Legend has it that a great treasure lies at the top of the tower. As such, many brave people often attempt to climb the tower to obtain those riches. However, none have managed to survive the tower's horrific trials. And thus, the tower stands as a grim reminder of the many lives lost in search of this mythical treasure. I hope that you too will enjoy your climb of the tower and experience the many wonders that it has to offer. And then we'll do mushroom. One of the many attractions of the Tower of Barbs is that several different types of mushrooms can be found within its walls. There are more than 40 different types of mushrooms waiting to be discovered by adventurous mushroom hunters in the tower. Some of the mushrooms spray harmful spores in excess of LC-50, of which a single breath causes the lungs to rot, and in some cases, immediate death. Therefore, residents of the Tower of Barbs all wear masks to protect themselves from accidental inhalation of the deadly spores. A vital skill of anyone in the tower is the ability to accurately identify mushrooms. Failure can mean the difference between life and death. Yep. And you can get, you can eat mushrooms from like smashing dead frogs. It's really weird. Living dead. This is what I was talking about before about haters. And what else is cool is that, hold on. What else is cool is that it, this is also, um, it has that same type of multiplayer that, um, Dark Souls has, um, I forgot what it's called, um, hold on, what, what type of multiplayer does Dark Souls have? I forgot how, what it's called, but um, it's similar to um, to the multiplayer in Dark Souls where people can leave messages and stuff, and they could summon like people to help you, um, like an Elden Ring or whatever. Um, I think they might be able to do that in Dark Souls too, or, or they do something similar, um, or not Dark Souls too necessarily, but in the Dark Souls series or Soulsborne series or whatever, any of those types of Soul games. But in this game instead. Um, people who die are reborn into like NPCs, like zombie NPCs that fight you, and those are called haters. And they're the ones, they're the fallen people. They're the people that have died to try to climb the tower, and they try to kill you to, to try to stop you from climbing the tower. And then it's just an infinite cycle of people climbing the tower, and dying, and then fighting other players to try to get them to not get up the tower and then fight other players. Like when they get revived as, as haters. Or the living dead, as is explained in this. Another one of the mysterious appeals of this tower is the ability to meet the old you after you die within. Mm -hmm. This is due to the four dawns that live within the tower. They reanimate the corpses of all who die in their domain and in turn use them as their own mindless undead killers within the tower. Most visitors are shocked to see that their corpse has been reanimated and is now on a killing spree on their way to the top of the tower. The chance of fighting against your own reanimated corpse is just yet another allure of this tower. Um, this mm. 
Momoko Yamada, 27 years old, also known as the Mushroom Magistrate. She has traveled around the world since she left home at the age of 13. She was once a legendary backpacker known for her good looks. Now, she lives within the tower, obsessed with mushrooms. Every day, she can be found passionately hunting for them. She has eaten so many mushrooms that they have driven her quite mad. However, you can call on her expertise, and she may just create new mushrooms for you, which can help you survive longer in the tower. She is quite popular amongst the mushroom boosters within the tower, and they say that her help gives them quite the advantage. Alright, so that's all the tapes you know for right now. From Mother Barbs. Oh, hey! Finally decided to wake up? I thought you were dead or something. <laughs> but yeah, we're finally actually gonna start playing. It's cool that there's so much detail in everything. Yeah, you know, especially in all the shit stains on the bathroom floor and walls. You know, you always gonna get that right. Oh my god, shit stains. How do I do a drop kick? What the hell? Why am I dancing? Do I have any other weapons? I don't think I do. Oh, you can like collect collectibles too. There, I think there's like, um, like comics and stuff. Hello, believer in the power of the mushrooms. Without mushrooms, there's no glory. There's nothing. There's no love. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> do I have anything in here? Oh wow, I do. I think I'll get that to help me. Oh my god, there's so much stuff I don't have that's in here. Alright, we'll just leave it in there for now. Where the frick are the... Where is it? Is there not a control screen scheme? Oh god, I just ate... I didn't want to do that. Bruh. Oh yeah, this is the level up. And it actually carries over to your other characters. I don't think I can love anything. Do I have to switch to this? It's so cool that, the, that that's how that works. Oh yeah, there's the map too. There's also bosses, I forgot to mention that. I don't think I've ever killed a boss in this game. It would be so difficult to fight. Oh, we can't use the elevator. Right, let's go up here. I really want to know how to drop kick. I forgot how to do that. I'm gonna look up how to do that. These loading screens are cool too. How to drop kick and let it die. Press jump while running. Press kick in midair to execute. I'm so scared. How to kick and let it die. Xbox controller A button. 
Okay, that that's X. Oh, like that. And that okay, that doesn't really waste that much stamina. Okay, we gotta be careful about haters and stuff. If there's any haters, I guess we just need to dab on them. <laughs> that's a bad joke. Alright. I'm so scared. The combat is so chaotic in this game. It's really fun though. And, and it's actually... Yeah, it's actually be strategic with some things. Bruh. Wait, those are like the mushrooms that you eat. And they can either help you or they could harm you. It's kind of, I think it's random most of the time. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, I do. I really don't have much right now. Ooh. I'll put it there for now. So I could switch in between it. Oh my god, I missed. Oh my god, how do I keep missing? Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Why does it feel so weird? What the hell? Okay, I'm just gonna stop. So satisfying. Yeah, that's the bad one. Oh my god. I'm more violent than I remember. Why don't all these have tear gas in them? What the hell? This also has tear gas. Okay. Yeah, this isn't good, right? It's gonna hurt me. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, never mind. It helps me, apparently. Okay, well, I'll just take it then. Oh, I didn't want to eat it that time. I wanted to keep it, like, in storage. There's also, like, mushrooms you can throw at other people. Oh my god, I did not time that right at all. Oh my god. There we go. Nice new weapon. I really want to do fist. I think that'd be fun. Oh god. Okay, not now. Oh god, run away. What the hell? Oh, I have to wait for the prompt to pop up. Oh god. Holy crap, my armor is gone. Oh, that was nice. Ooh. That's a good weapon. Hey, they have the weirdest weapon in this game. The weirdest weapons. That like barely helped me. Oh my god, are you serious? There we go. That's that's really satisfying to do. Rare metal. Why not? Why, why does that like barely heal me? 
Is there stuff here? What is this do? Oh. Cool. Oh! Ooh! I'm taking that. Is that a firework launcher? Oh wait, I'm not- wait. Oh, it is! Dude, the firework launchers are actually, I think, like, really overpowered in this game. Okay, I'm actually getting really lucky. Man, I'm so scared right now. Oh god, run away. There we go. Master level up. Oh god. Oh, eat it. Oh, that was a good one. Good. Oh, I'm gonna master level up again. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Sleep. Okay. If it heals me. <laughs> oh, I just. <laughs> Bro, that's funny. I'm kind of defenseless, so I can't do anything here. Imagine I ate this while I was like fighting a boss <laughs> on accident or something. Like I had it in my inventory. That'd be so funny. I just messed up everything. The bosses in this game are crazy by the way. Okay, sorry guys. Um, I thought I was going to get caught from being grounded. Oh nice, I think this is a checkpoint, right? So now we can pull the switch and then it's like, and then we can use it. Oh shoot, where did that come from? There we go. That's the stuff. There we go, that was perfect right there. I, these aren't really good weapons, man. The firework guns. I thought they were good weapons. I'm gonna be recording for like 20 more minutes. And I'm so scared, dude. So you're not supposed to get attached to any of the characters. That's kind of like the point of the game. Just so you guys know. 
Restore the HP. Oh, that's actually really good. Okay, so now that's equipped um, to my my the big button in the middle of my controller. So now once I press the big button, the touchpad or whatever, it'll that should be what I eat. Drop picking. There we go, just like that. Oh god. Oh god, there's so many of them. Let's do this shit. He's actually really overpowered. Okay, that's how to that's how you dodge. But it can soon stamina or take stamina. It's 69. Oh god, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, it's a comic book, right? Yeah, it's Tales from the Barbs. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, that's not what I meant to press. I want to go in my death bag. Or not my death bag. Was it? It was this, I think, right? The tales from Barb's. That's so cool. It like shows the origin, the origins of um. The the bosses, I think. That's really cool. For some reason, I wouldn't let me turn the page. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why. Maybe they're like. Maybe I'm collecting individual pages. Oh, I want to kill it. Bruh. Fiber for R&D. Okay. I'm determined. I'm determined and undeterred. There we go. Rage gouge. Oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> They're saying Wado Wado. Or Bato Bato. Or Blood. Equipment name. The blueprint. Oh, that's nice. Blueprints are all, always awesome. Oh god, this level is really scary. I like those effects on the camera, that's really cool. This is a really pretty game, you know. Even for a free-to-play game. It's really nice looking in some parts. Oh god. Wait, can I use the thing? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Where it? That's your armor. I'm gonna eat this thing. Decrease my gouge. Alright, that's a good weapon, I think. I think we should switch these around. How do I jump? Oh, I have to climb with square. And then jump with square too. All right, nice. I think we're actually doing some good progress. This is really fun so far, man. I'm glad I'm playing this again. I haven't played in so long.
Why does it say I killed zero enemies? Is it talking about the level we're going up? I think the high, the most I've ever reached, like the, or the farthest I've ever reached was the first boss ever, but I didn't kill him, I'm pretty sure, because it was too difficult for me. And you, every time you die, you have to, like, restart everything, basically. Ooh, gain XP. I've never killed a man like that in my life. Oh shoot. What the hell is this? I don't even remember this being a thing. Oh god, it's another one of those. I do not like the feeling of this man. Oh my god, no. This is not good. Um, I'm back. Um, after the after the predicament. So um, yeah. Um, I just I died. So yeah. Um, I almost got caught playing the game, and so I had to go to the pool for a couple hours and then eat dinner and everything. But now I'm back, and I'm gonna f finish recording this and editing this, you know, for you guys. Um, the first episode so yeah I have like around 25 minutes to left and in within the hour I'm able to record and post so yeah
Nice weapon. So scary. Fucking psychopath, that lunatic. money. Okay, I'll go back up then. I mean down, not up. That's nice and convenient. Oh my god, Marvel Studios Secret Invasion trailer just came up. Thank you. 
Oh my god. Dude, that's crazy. Holy crap. I can run for way longer and like swing a lot more. That's awesome. saves it to different characters too. I actually like that a lot. Like so if you died saved on each character. Okay, let's see what this has to entail. Is this a boss fight? <gasps> dude, it's a boss. Oh my god, it's the first boss battle, dude. Oh my god, this is so scary, dude. That's crazy. I did it on my first try, too. No, I didn't mean to do that. I thought, dude, I thought you could throw it at enemies. Oh my god, that's so stupid. I thought you could throw it at enemies. Oh my god, that's so creepy. This is the farthest I've ever gone, dude. This is crazy. This is actually insane. Just by the way, sorry for not being able to be as loud or as expressive because it's nighttime right now.
Senpai. scared. How do I drop this? Oh shit. Alright, let's drop kick clear. Okay, 
Okay, I'm fine. Thank God, dude. I got so scared there. Oh shit, dude. 
shit, man. dead body but I don't know but yeah um that that was See you next time. that was fun but yeah I'm gonna be losing his stuff you see look now he's a hater with my stuff and everything but yeah um I'm running out of recording time I only have a minute left to record so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to support my channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next XCN Team video or live stream.